Round-based zombies for Call of Duty Vanguard should be coming to the game in maybe a little over a month and a half, meaning that we should start getting some sort of gameplay teasers and what else is to come with the future of Vanguard zombies as we return to She No Numa. But the storyline narrative, as well as this secret room that is mentioned in the blog post, is the topic of today's video because I have a very interesting theory that might just tell us exactly what we're going to be doing in this round-based map for Shino Numa. Everybody's waiting on the edge of their seats to see exactly how Treyarch is going to tackle this new round-based map for Vanguard Zombies, because obviously Vanguard Zombies kind of do be poo-poo. So as they said in the blog post, Vanguard's next Zombies map will be a reimagining of the full scope of Shino Numa first introduced in Call of Duty World at War. Freshly enhanced with an all new main quest, side quests, a new area to explore, a new wonder weapon quest, the classic flogger, electro defenses, remastered Easter eggs, pack a bunch camos, and dark ether narrative for the map. Now, the two biggest things I want to talk about there a new area to explore, and a new dark ether narrative for the map. So, obviously, we know what Shinonuma looks like. We have the main, like, hut area. Then we have, like, these branch off areas like doctor's quarters, so on and so forth for Shinonuma. Pretty standard, we know what to expect. However, they say that there is this brand new secret area to explore inside of Vanguard Zombie Shinonuma. As for where this area could be, who the heck knows, but I do have a theory as to how this could work out. So let's say, for example, you open up every part of the map that you normally would inside a Shinonuma, pretty typical Shinonuma gameplay. You do a couple of the first steps of this brand new Easter egg that they're bringing to this map, because remember, there wasn't a main Easter egg inside of the original Shinonuma. So this is going to be the very first time they ever add something like this to the game. And it opens up like this trap door underneath Shinonuma on the bottom floor. And when you go down this trap door, there is a portal. Now, where this portal takes you to is very important, so let me give you a little bit of backstory here. Obviously, inside of Vanguard Zombies, we are fighting off Cordifex and his armies, and the history of Cordifex and what they have done goes way back. It says the origins of the society occult goes back to the Middle Ages when several individuals were in contact with Dark Aether entities, including Nordicus and Cordifex. So this is basically saying that the society occult have been in contact with both Cordifex and Nordicus in the past timelines, and basically that they were able to talk to these entities outside of the Dark Aether, similar to how we can with the brand new artifacts in the game. Now it says that they were compiling a spellbook of Dark Aether rune magic called the Tome of Rituals, which obviously we have in inside of the game right now, that's how we upgrade our artifacts inside of Vanguard Zombies, and it's the pages that we find, including the page that we got inside of Terra Maldicta, and the page that we saw inside of Shino Numa to begin with, in the first Vanguard Zombies Easter Egg. Now, originally this society, they were moving around and having different secret meeting places, but they say an architect who was also a Freemason designed what would become the society's mystic fortress. His building, Hotel Royal, was erected above the Paris Catacombs, which were laid out in a dark ether ruin magic pattern, creating a dimensional nexus. Within Hotel Royal, the society performed seances and rituals using the Tome of Rituals, calling upon the various entities to help them increase their wealth and influence. Now this is absolutely massive for the Vanguard Zombie storyline, so let's say this new area that you can explore is actually the catacombs beneath Hotel Royal. Obviously we can take a portal to Hotel Royal, but what if we could take this portal to Hotel Royal and explore it deeper? Instead of just doing a transmit objective or a blitz or so on and so forth, instead of doing that you can actually go explore this map and find the catacombs. This being the closest place that we have a dimensional nexus inside of Vanguard Zombies, meaning that this is where the walls between the two universes are thinnest. With the catacombs laid out in the pattern of some of the Dark Aether Ruin magic, this would make total sense for someone like Von List to be trying to summon the powers of Cordifex from this very hotel. And if Von List and Cordifex are starting to get a little bit desperate heading into the next iteration of Vanguard Zombies after what we did to them inside of Terra Maldicta, they may just turn to using these catacombs as a way to summon more and more of Cordifex's army to the world for us to take down and possibly make Cordifex come through this some weird portal or make Von List himself even more powerful. Hotel Royal and the catacombs beneath it have been the most interesting part of the Vanguard Zombie storyline that has yet to be explained. And I think if they're going to try to find a way to explain what's going on there and make this whole new Easter egg for the Shinonuma map and the Shinonuma Reborn map, then this is the exact place they need to be doing it. Especially with the thousands of bodies inside the catacombs underneath the Hotel Royal, it would be super interesting to have Cordifex's power 
be channeled through Von List and him raising the dead from those catacombs. And when Kraft's team finally arrives there, hopefully we'll be able to wield even more power from our current Dark Aether entities to take on this threat in one final stand against the Society of Cult, Court Effects, and Von List. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Do you hope this is what's going to happen with Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies, Shinonuma Reborn? I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.